Good morning, and welcome to Morning Prayer for Wednesday, March 15th. Both here and in all your churches throughout the world, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Amen. Day 15, the first way of service continued. The heart of our prayer is the Eucharist, in which we share with other Christians the renewal of our union with our Lord and Savior in his sacrifice, remembering his death and receiving his spiritual food. Merciful God, you have made your church rich through the poverty of blessed Francis. Help us, like him, not to trust in earthly things, but to seek your heavenly gifts. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. O come, let us worship. The Jubilate Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this. The Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. And his faithfulness endures from age to age. The psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 119, beginning at the 97th verse. Oh, how I love your law. All the day long it is in my mind. Your commandment has made me wiser than my enemies, and it is always with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for your decrees are my study. I am wiser than the elders, because I observe your commandments. I restrain my feet from every evil way, that I may keep your word. I do not shrink from your judgments, because your, you yourself have taught me. How sweet are your words to my taste! They are sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through your commandments I gain understanding, therefore I hate every lying way. Your word is a lantern to my feet and a light upon my path. I have sworn and am determined to keep your righteous judgments. I am deeply troubled. Preserve my life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, O Lord, the willing tribute of my lips, and teach me your judgments. My life is always in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have set a trap for me, but I have not strayed from your commandments. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. Truly, they are the joy of my heart. I have applied my heart to fulfill your statutes forever and to the end. I hate those who have divided heart, but your law do I love. You are my refuge and shield. My hope is in your word. Away from me, you wicked, I will keep the commandments of my God. Sustain me according to your promise, that I may live, and let me not be disappointed in my hope. Hold me up, and I shall be safe, and my delight shall ever be in your statutes. You spurn all those who stray from your statutes. Their deceitfulness is in vain. In your sight all the wicked of the earth are but dross. Therefore I love your decrees. My flesh trembles with dread of you. I am afraid of your judgments. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Again Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Then the Pharisees said to him, You are testifying on your own behalf. 
Your testimony is not valid. Jesus answered, Even if I testify on my own behalf, my testimony is valid because I know where I have come from and where I am going, but you do not know where I come from or where I am going. You judge by human standards. I judge no one. Yet even if I do judge, my judgment is valid, for it is not I alone who judge, but I and the Father who sent me. In your law it is written that the testimony of two witnesses is valid. I testify on my own behalf, and my Father who sent me testifies on my behalf. Then they said to him, Where is your Father? Jesus answered, You know neither me nor my Father. If you knew me, you would know my Father also. He spoke these words while he was teaching in the treasury of the temple, but no one arrested him because his hour had not yet come. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. With confidence and trust, let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, have mercy. We pray for the Church throughout the world, for the Anglican Communion, the Anglican Church of Canada, the province of Rupert's Land, the Diocese of Brandon, and this parish of St. Matthew. And we also pray for our Diocesan Executive Council, which will be meeting here at the Cathedral this morning. For the one holy Catholic and apostolic Church throughout the world, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. We pray for our church leaders. We pray for Bishop William. We pray for our Metropolitan Greg, our National Indigenous Archbishop Chris, our Primate Linda, and the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin. For the mission of the church, that in faithful witness it may preach the gospel to the ends of the earth, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those preparing for baptism and for their teachers and sponsors, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the world, remembering this day Yemen, Sudan, Somalia, Nigeria, Syria, Afghanistan, Iraq and Iran, Palestine, Israel, North and South Korea, Russia, Ukraine, China, Taiwan, and the United States. That a spirit of respect and reconciliation may grow among nations and peoples. We pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. We pray for those among us today who will feel the effects of systemic racism, prejudice, poverty, or homelessness. For the poor, the persecuted, the sick, and all who suffer, most especially remembering those in our hospital, our nursing homes, any awaiting surgery, recovering from it, or suffering from other long-term health issues, mental health issues, addictions, or isolation. For refugees, prisoners, and all in danger, that they may be relieved and protected, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. 
for all whom we have injured or offended. We pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. At this time of Lent, for grace to amend our lives and to further the reign of God, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. In our prayers for the Third Order this morning, we pray for the African province, for Johannesburg, Pretoria, and Lowveld. And we pray for Jonathan, Victoria, Anne, John, Earl, Elita, Germaine, Haiti, Leslie, Patricia, Mark, Anna, Evelyn, Wagner, Jose, Laurel, I'm oh, sorry, Laura, Lois, Umberto, Mateus, Ruth, Carl, Thomas, Mary, Felipe, and our companions Mary, Beverly, and William. God, we give you thanks for the Third Order of the Society of St. Francis. Grant, we pray that being knit together in community and prayer, we, your servants, may glorify your holy name after the example of St. Francis and win others to your love through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, whose Son, Jesus Christ, gives the water of eternal life, may we always thirst for you, the spring of life and the source of goodness, through him who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May our Blessed Lady pray for us. May St. Francis pray for us. May St. Clair pray for us. May all the saints of the Third Order pray for us. May all the holy angels watch over us and befriend us. May our Lord Jesus give us his blessing and his peace. Amen.